the Ben Miller Band live in our studios here on the bridge, made up of Ben Miller, Scott Leeper, and Doug DeCherry. Uh, you know, the, the new CD on New West is called Any Way, Shape, or Form. Uh, it's out tomorrow. They'll have it at the merch table Friday night over at Trouser Mass in Blue Springs. And I think that, you know, because this is your first time around for uh, a lot of our audience, uh, it would probably be a good idea to talk about your instrumentation because it's really quite different. Yeah. Uh, your, your, let's start with your guitar, Ben. It's, it's got quite a, a pedigree. Well, <laughs> it's Sear, <laughs> Sears and Roebuck. Was the, it's, uh, it's surname. Uh, I, I'm, I had a, uh, a guitar that I learned on, and then uh, I was at a pawn shop when I was in Seattle, and, and I played... Um, one of these K guitars, and it just sounded right to me, and and uh, you know I, I felt really uh, uh, kind of close to it in a in a noise kind of way, kind of junky and you know harsh, but yeah. like trying to f a little bit of a I don't know, a little old old sounding. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, th this isn't the original one I had. The original one was this exact same mo make and model, but uh, I pretty much played through it like I it, it was it was mine for years and I just I still got it up on the wall but it's it's not in playable condition anymore uh, you also when you're playing live sometimes you use a microphone that's made out of a telephone receiver that's right yeah I was uh, waiting for someone to pick up on a, a phone call and just listening to the rings and sort of bored and I was playing harmonica and I heard it through the earpiece and I thought wow that'd be a really great harmonica mic um, so I talked to a friend of mine who's a uh, uh, knows a little bit about electronics, and he said, "Well, we could probably just wire that right into a, uh, a microphone output." And I said, "All right, let's give it a shot." And it sounded great, and uh, I use it for vocals and harmonica as well. And your bass drum? The bass drum. Right now, we're using uh, this is sort of a stripped down version of what we do live. We, live, we have a bit more stuff, but this is Doug's suitcase that he keeps all of his. Uh, <laughs> His junk in. Well, yeah. <laughs> so foot pedal and a suitcase. Yeah, foot pedal and suitcase, and, and on my other foot I got just a tambourine. I'm kicking, to keep time. We uh, <laughs> we try to save money on uh, extra musicians by doing stuff with all of our limbs. <laughs> now, wasn't didn't I read someplace that uh, your foot tambourine you use a license plate to keep it all together? Yeah, that that's the that's the uh, permutation it's at at this point. Uh, we've gone through a lot of different tr trial and error uh, type scenarios with the instruments we play in, and I don't think we're, we're there. Like we're, we're always in the middle of becoming something else. <laughs> My favorite was the coffee can on the hi-hat. Yeah, there was Same a hi-hat. At one point, I used a, a hi-hat like that. There's a coffee can sitting like that and filled it with Junk. bells and buckshot. And, <laughs> yeah. And we found somebody gave us this, like, little doll head that's used to, like, <laughs> for little girls to practice putting makeup on. And we, I used my soldering iron to solder off her shoulders so she would fit in there. <laughs> And she would like slowly like spin around during the show, yeah. and just after a while though it got really creepy, and we yeah. get rid of her. She kept eyeballing me. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, there's uh, I, I'm just I'm not an engineer, but there's a little thing that you buy at at Radio Shack that you can just sort of use to wire up anything, right? We use a lot of those, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, you you um, you can go direct with your spoons. Yes. Yeah, and that's what we have. You're talking about the piezo or piezo or yeah, however you say it. Yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. says it different. Yeah, and uh, my spoons have a plastic handle on them, so you don't have to do the traditional spoon grip. You just hold on to the handle. And uh, Ben came up with the wild idea to crack open that handle and put a piezo, piezo, whatever, inside of it. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You... you I don't know if it was an actual, if it was a joke or, I mean, you, you were like, this is going to sound cool, you know? And <laughs> I, I was like, joking. screw I, it, let's try it. Can I say, can yeah, I say yeah, it on the radio? Say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. You know, I had just gotten a DVD on how to play the spoons, and it was just kind of a fun thing to learn. And, and man, then, we, then I started just, like, acquiring a lot of effects pedals and putting those through them, and then it just got really weird. So. And the washboard. The washboard. I... I the uh, the guy from North Mississippi All Stars had an electric washboard, and that's when I was like, I'm I can go do that. And I started with a wah pedal, and then got an EQ pedal, and then had a f somebody gave me a flanger, and then it just got it's just getting <laughs> really strange. Now, now of course, uh, Doug, you you play a lot of different things. Yes, you know you play 
drums, you play mandolin, you play trombone, you play trumpet. And I saw an interview where you claimed to not know how to play any of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just, just, I'm just faking it, you know, <laughs> just enough to get by. I can get through each song, but it no, sounds pretty. I went to school for trombone. Right. Yeah. And then we get over to um, to Scott. Scott, you're playing a wash tub. Correct. You know this, of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I played stand-up bass. Uh, and it's just amazing to me. This is a wash tub with a stick. And you want to tell people what you use for a string? I use trimmer line, or also known as weed eater string. But you, but you have a favorite. I was wondering if you'd ever gone to the weed eater people to get an endorsement deal. Uh, <laughs> I would like to. I need some that will uh, light up so you can see it on the big stage. So <laughs> you just grab that pole and you get different notes by pulling that pole back and forth and getting different amounts of tension. Yeah, correct. Uh, how long did it take you to get to the point where you do that? Because, you know, just looking at it, you don't have any frets. You know, it doesn't really feel like you could do anything visually. It's got to be purely feel, right? Yes, yes. It's in the ear and feel. Did you was it an easy thing for you to pick up, or did it take a lot of work? Fairly easy. Uh, I I started out, just picked it up and could kind of hit the notes, you know. And I thought, well, this is really interesting, and uh, started playing gigs not long after, and and. Uh, <clears throat> We were playing like three and four nights a week, so after a couple of years of that, I started getting pretty salty. Luckily, <laughs> they weren't real picky about how <laughs> gnarly it sounded at first. So, well, awesome. It sounds great. Interestingly, you actually started out on drums. Yeah, I was a drummer for a long time and started in a family band. Right, and then uh, moved on, and, and you played for a while with Lightning Malcolm. Mm-hmm. So you, you've got quite the pedigree, too. Yeah, he took me down to Mississippi and met some people down there, met the North Mississippi All-Stars and stuff like that. I got to tell you, the, the music today is just phenomenal, and we'd love to hear some more. We're talking with the Ben Miller Band, new CD, Any Way, Shape, or Form. It's coming out on New West tomorrow. There'll be a Trouser Mouse on Friday night. Mm. This one's from the new album, too. That's uh. <clears throat> It's called uh, 23 Skidoo. I don't think we've ever done this one acoustic, have we? Just in the snake pit. Whatever happened to all the people that we used to know? Whatever happened to all the people that we used to know? I guess I could find them, they're probably online. And now living lives like I'm out living mine The names and the places, the dates and the faces Of all these acquaintances which would I maintain Space. Yeah, space. With the 
where we stand, the sun goes down, but from the sun we're spinning around, and someone is so long ago you met. The half a world away from you, the rising in the morning, new to see that rising sun that you are saying. I love you. 